Well, I'm actually really very super excited today because last night I managed to get this running again. It may not look like much, but it's got it where it counts. This was my Millennium Falcon. So this was my very first Hornby locomotive. The R333 number 101 040T Holden tank. This this was the one I got for Christmas 1980. This is what's got the uh, 1981 layout inspired. Now this hasn't worked for years and years and years and years. It's, it's not actually too bad. I mean look, there's a bit of damage there that could just be, be painted over and a little copper cap from the funnel is missing. But that's about it. I've uh, put some buffers on, put new hooks front and back. Now, this did not run at all. So, I stripped it apart yet again. This has been apart for a year. Couldn't get it to go. I've serviced it and oiled it and all that. Done that again and again and again and again. It must be 20 years since this thing works. Now, what the issue was, which I didn't know about, was quartering. Yeah? The wheels should be quartered. So, on one side, they should be. 90 degrees different on the on the on the pins to the other side so you see they're nearly near the top and those a quarter of the way round and now it runs so i'm going to pop it on the track look at this and today this morning is the first time that this has been running and it runs well plenty of speed look at that jumping on the points i don't know why well, that is absolutely cracking. I'm made up on that. Now, let's see how it's fared compared to the replacement I got in a 535 set. Now, obviously, the uh, brass here is worn. And that's that little copper bit I was saying about. But other than that, the only other damage I've seen is a little bit on the steps there. Broken off. You see that? See, it's, it's full here. It's about half there. There's nothing I can do about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy. So, let's pop it back on the track. Okay, and we'll see. The two together. And whether. Oh. Right, so start about halfway around. Oh, oh, it's come off at the points. Well, that wasn't good, was it? So, there we go. Oh, it's slightly slower than the new one. Let's just try it with them swapped in position. Because it might be that the front runner is faster than that one in the rear. So, oh no, still a little bit of a speed differential. That's like, whew, years and years and years as a kid of running it around a track, jumping off ramps, crashing through barriers hitting Lego walls, running over toy soldiers, probably getting blown up with fireworks, I'm not sure. There you go, it's caught it up finally. Never mind, it'll do it some good to run around for a while. Look at that, brilliant. I'm happy, I'm a happy boy. I'll just be a bit more gratuitous. On my birthday, three months after the Christmas that I got this, I also got a couple of GWR four-wheel coaches. I've now got four of them. My original ones are the two in the middle. And I've got uh, a guards van, so let's just run it. There's a nice long passenger train. Looky, looky. Choo, choo, choo. Right, Christmas again. There we go, have it running past an original 535 with the wagons that I had as a kid. <laughs> 